If you're looking for a most affordable brand in India that not only makes inspired versions of some popular designer brands of perfumes and also niche perfumes, then Perfume Trends is definitely that you have to check out. They're based out of Chennai and if you're from Chennai, you will get 100 ml of perfume sprays, which looks like this for just rupees 600 guys. And I've never seen any brand, at least from what I know, which makes inspired versions and they sell 100 ml for just 600. That's very surprising. If you're from Chennai, you definitely have to visit their store. And if you're not from Chennai, you still have the option of getting them delivered. So stay tuned to know in detail. What's up guys? This is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about one of the most affordable perfume brand in India. 100 ml starts with Jess 600. Of course they have perfumes with higher range as well but 100 ml for 600 actually surprised me. And the best part is they also have customized option. You can choose whether you want EDT, you can choose EDP, you can choose Extrait Perform, you can also choose Pure Perform or you can customize it to that minute level where you want 5% extra oil concentration and they have a very small charge of increasing the oil concentration as per what you desire. So let's say you want 20%, if you want 25% oil, they have a slight increase which is there in their chart. So you can simply ask them to share their price chart along with the names of the perfumes and their pricing. And that's something unique because I have seen only standard concentration levels sold by many sellers in India, but they have a customized option, which is actually unique. The other thing is just because they are most affordable, do not expect a very high class presentation, but that doesn't mean that they're using cheap glasses because this bottle actually looks heavy. The cap is also great. The base is also thick, similar to how Middle Eastern brands give, but they do not spend too much on the name labeling and stuff, which is why they are very affordable. Okay, if you only care about the perfume, you want to smell good, you want to be hygiene, because the problem in India is people do not, majority of them at least, they do not want to spend on perfumes because they think it is not important, but at least in my opinion, it is very, very important not to be that stinky pig around people okay most of the people miss out this basic fact because they think that it makes no sense to wear perfume because anyway they are not going to get compliments so perfume is not just about compliments guys you have to be hygiene every human being are going to sweat especially if you live in very high heat so it's important to know that others are going to get offended with your sweaty body so at least use a simple perfume so it's not necessary that you have to spend four thousand and five thousand for perfumes Brands like this are what makes it easier for you guys. 600 is what you have to spend for a 100 ml and that 600 of 100 ml bottle can easily go for three months, okay, in general. So 200 is what you spend on a monthly basis and that shouldn't be a big deal at all, at least keeping hygiene in mind. So like I said, they have 100 ml option, they have 30 ml option, which looks like this. And they also have a 50 ml option, which looks like this. They also have for testing purpose, an 8 ml sprayer option or if you simply like using others which is the oil version you have option of oil version as well so, so i have 10 different perfumes two different others so i'll get started with my favorites at number one is omre nomad okay now omre nomad is a louis vuitton inspired version now when i smell this this smelled more like a fresh perfume with a piney woody feel i don't think this is very close to the original because i have tried Ombre Nomad inspired version from Paris Corner as well, which I believe it to be the most closest, at least from what I've tried till date. And that was something which I did not really enjoy because it had that dark ambery woody, which I was not a big fan of. This one I really loved and that's why I'm saying this is number one, guys. I don't care whether it is close to the original Ombre Nomad, but this smells fantastic. If you like a nice piney woody with some raspberry touch and a nice soft cedar wood base. This is definitely that you have to try. This easily goes for the summers as well. It's not the typical citrus aquatic type. Piney woody and raspberry along with some nice woody base. Beautiful fragrance definitely goes for the summers. Something very masculine and different from the usual citrus aquatic fragrance. The 30 ml costs 250, 50 ml costs 350 and the 100 ml costs just 600. You have to try this one if you're looking for a very affordable summer fragrance that smells really nice. Ombre Nomad by Perfume Trends. Number two, my second favorite is Dior Purple Oud. Of course, this is a winter fragrance because this is slightly darker, but it smells great, okay? 
And the best part is I have not seen anybody making inspired version of Dior Purple Oud. I do not know how the original smells again. I will be very honest. But as a blend of its own, this smells great. 330, 500, 850 are the pricing. 30 ml, 50 ml, 100 ml. It opens up with a nice orangish spiny wood along with some saffron, some spicy green notes and some vetiver. So like I said, this goes better in the winters but you also can use it in the summer evening time because it does have that vetiver, it does have that orange spiny wood feel which suits the summers as well. Performance is decently good. 2 hours of projection and 11 hours of lasting is what I got. In case I have missed to mention the performance of Ombre Nomad. This gave me 2 hours of projection and 8 hours of lasting. Now at number 3, this is my third favorite and that is from Abdul Samad Al Qureshi's Black Incense. I did not smell the original again but this actually smells great. It has that rosy milk sort of a feel along with citrus on top with some praline and incense and in the late dry down you would also get amber and vetiver. The performance is brilliant, 3 hours of projection, 10 hours of lasting. The pricing is 400, 600 and 1050. Okay, slightly higher but it is worth guys. I have not seen anybody making the clone of this and it smells fantastic for the pricing. At number 4 is Mensera Red Tobacco. Okay, if you know how the original is, this is how it looks. I did compare side by side with this one. The first 20 minutes it goes off track but then it comes as close as this one which I would say is about 85% close after 30 minutes. Okay, and that's brilliant. 85% close after 30 minutes. Do not judge it in the first 30 minutes. Starts off with a dark chocolatey woody patchouli and amber with some bit of tobacco and a nice woody base similar to the original performance is also good three hours of projection 10 hours of lasting the pricing is 280 400 and 700 coming to the next one is mensera the oud another inspired version of mensera i did not smell the original again but this also smells good guys pricing is 335 hundred and 850 opens up with a nice pepper cloves and rose along with some bit of saffron and sandalwood very creamy sandalwood and in the base you have musk and woody. Performance is also great. 3 hours of projection, 11 hours of lasting. Okay. Now coming to the 6th and 7th, so they have named it as Dior Musk but this is nothing but Musk Rijali by Ajmal. I've spoken about Musk Rijali so many times in my channel. I recently made a video in my Hindi channel as well about Musk Safi by Naseem which is also an inspired version of Musk Rijali. Okay, now Musk Dior from what they have named is nothing but Musk Rijali. A very beautiful white clean musk with that natural skin sort of a feel. The performance again, even in this, I really got good performance. 3 hours of projection, 11 to 12 hours of lasting. Now people who do not understand this fragrance are not going to sense the performance. So do not complain. If you're not able to sense it, and if you don't enjoy it, it just does not suit you. Simple as that. The other one is Musk Sufi. This is a slightly fruity floral sort of a musk with some strawberry, raspberry, that sort of a fruity feel along with some florals. And then comes the musk and soft woods. Okay, again beautiful. It might lean slightly feminine because of that fruity up top. But it smells fantastic guys. The performance is not like Dior Musk, but it's still pretty decent. Two hours of projection, seven to eight hours of lasting. The pricing is for the spray version. I do not know what the pricing of the others are. So Dior Musk, which is nothing but Musk Rijali, is 550, 850, and 1500 for the spray version. But I would rather suggest that Dior Musk or Musk Rijali is better to be used as Atar. So I do not know what the pricing of Atar is. You can check with them. I'll give you all the purchase links or seller's number in the video description box. Musk Sufi pricing is 400, 600, 1050. Again, for the spray versions, you can check out their pricing of Atar's in their price catalog. Coming in at number eight is Oud Al Shams. Okay, this is an inspired version of Ajmal Oud Al Shams. But I'll be honest here, it does not smell like Ajmal Shams. Okay nowhere close because this is a gem of oud fragrance because i generally don't prefer oud perfumes because i like them as others but this one perfume blew my mind this is fantastic and it is not meant for those who don't like skanky animal oud it's definitely skanky but it smells gorgeous in the air especially in the cooler weather this has nothing to do with that sort of smell which does not mean that it does not smell like oud it definitely smells like oud but it rather smells like Ajmal Oud Kuwaiti, if you know what I'm talking about. If you have tried Oud Kuwaiti by Ajmal, it has that black Oud sort of a feel. Now, black Oud is not something realistically black Oud. It's just inspired versions of real Oud and they have named it as black Oud. It smells a little dark, 
has that musky feel, has that slight leathery feel, has that spices in it. So this smells very close to Oud Kuwaiti by Ajmal rather than Ajmal Shams. Okay, very nice fragrance. If you like Oud Kuwaiti and you want that in a spray version, you can definitely check it out. Pricing is 800,000, 400,000, 750 for a spray version. It is a little expensive because the quality of Oud, like I said, it smells like Oud Kuwaiti. So definitely they have used good quality Oud here. Performance is also brilliant. 2 to 3 hours of projection, 12 hours of lasting is what I got. Now the last four are their private blends. It's not inspired version of any perfumes. But if you want to try their private blends, which is pretty decent and reasonably priced, at number 9 is Silver Cologne. Now this smells more like Jaguar Classic Black. I'm not calling it as a perfect clone because it has its own twist and turns and they have named it different. I'm not sure if they try to make it like Jaguar Black and then named it simply as Silver Cologne and that's why I'm calling it as their private blends. But it does have resemblance with Jaguar Black and this is a typical citrus woody fragrance for summers very masculine so this is also something like that a very nice apple lavender minty sort of an opening with some pepper and in the base you would get a nice cedar wood sort of a base very nice decent for the price 300 575 for 100 ml okay. for that pricing this is a great summer scent guys performance is also decent two hours of projection seven to eight hours of lasting next private blend is malabar sandal okay 330 500 and 850 for that price if you like sandalwood fragrance definitely check this out it has a minty sort of a sandalwood a bit of coconutty sweetness with some guac woody base that would be the reason why they have named it as malabar sandalwood because it does have that coconutty vibe along with some minty feel and that nice sandalwood with a nice woody base. Performance was great. The projection was actually very evident. Three hours and nine hours of lasting. At number 11 is Oud Amber, which is again their private blend. 400, 600, 1050 is the pricing. If you like fresh soapy amber with some nice minty feel, along with sandalwood base, you can try this one. There is no Oud like how it says. There is no heavy amber, it's a soapy amber. And you can use it for the summers as well. Okay, this does not smell dark even the juice color looks like that but does not mean that you should judge a fragrance with the juice color because you obviously can change the color of any fragrance using aroma chemicals but it does not smell anything like a dark fragrance it smells more like a summer fragrance if you like something which is not the typical citrus fruity fragrance the performance was also brilliant three hours of projection eight to nine hours of lasting number 11 which is the last one again their private blend is Oud Paris now this is for those who like nice ambery dark fragrance with some incense vibe it gives the feel of bahur i don't know if you've tried bahur or at least experienced the smell of bahur which is usually done in the middle eastern countries so this one smells like that a nice smoky amber with some bahur vibe okay if you like that sort of fragrance you definitely have to check it out like i said the bottles will look simple but if you only care about the perfume this is definitely that you have to check out Two hours of projection, eight hours of lasting. Pricing is 280, 400 and 700. This 100 ml costs around 700 and that's pretty cheap for a winter fragrance. Okay, this is something that you shouldn't try in the summers. So I would rather suggest that you try this in the winters if you like such sort of ambery, bahu sort of incense smell. Okay, so that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in case you have tried any of these. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Keep sharing the videos. Cheers.